Tariqat and Asoma fil Hayri min Jamiat. This Tariqat it is based on association. With association, you learn how to live your faith. With that association, you have a faith that you don't know how to live. Then you start believing in your life, believing in your lifestyle. If you don't live the way that you believe, one day you're going to believe the way that you live. You're trying to find an excuse that my lifestyle, it is somewhat Islamic. Because now Islam is according to general opinion. It has become that situation in the Ahir Zaman, run away from that mess. So this year passed. How do you think we did as a nation? Oh, spirituality is not talking about these things. It's talking about individual. If the individual is not understanding what role and place he has in the larger community, what good is that individual? That's why people can talk about love of God, a relationship with God and Allah, say Allah. But they're not understanding how this Ummat is suffering because of the confusion of Shaitan and Dajjal. What kind of relationship we're going to have now with our Allah? when the believers, they don't function as one body. That when one feels pain, the whole body feels pain. We don't feel the pain. If you feel the pain, you'll start addressing the pain. So how do you think we did as an ummah? Do you have to be a genius, a scholar, or a saint to know as an ummah? We didn't do too well this year. The proof is there. Last year seemed to be better. This year seems to be worse. Next year is going to get worse. They will solve some problems, definitely. But in place of those problems, 10 other problems are going to spring up. Next year, they will solve 10 problems, and 100 problems are going to spring up. This is the characteristic of the times that we are living in. So those who are looking at spirituality as just my relationship with my Allah, you're the most selfish ones ever. Because the Holy Prophet والسلام, from the cave of Hira, he went down. From the Mi'raj, he came down. He came down to bring Adil, justice. So that everyone would have their rights. And in his Vida Khutbah, in his farewell address, most of the words that he's saying is just take care of each other. Watch the rights of each other. Watch the rights of the women. Watch the rights of the orphans. Watch the rights of those that they don't have any voice to speak. To know that you are no higher than the other because of your race, your family connections. The measure that you are close to Allah, your taqwa, is how not only you are going to take care of the people around you, but you are going to know what it is in these times that is stopping the mercy of Allah from reaching, what it is in these times that the confusion is setting in to take away the mercy and to replace it with zulm. We must know. We 
we must know that we live in the age of Dajjal. We must know which side we are on. But everyone is very happy sitting on the fence. We must stand firm on the way of Haq. And if we are on the way of Haq, we must not be afraid. We cannot change with our hands, we cannot change with our tongues, we change in our hearts. And those who have the power to at least to say and they're not saying, they carry that responsibility, they carry that burden. We are not given that responsibility. Who is going to listen to us? A couple of people here and there. But those who are carrying that responsibility and when they speak the whole world are going to listen and if they're not standing up for haq they're not saying this is haq and this is batil don't be with the batil the responsibility is on them not on us and if you are so concerned with your own spirituality but you don't know what is just and what is unjust chances are you are going to be a tyrant in your daily lives you're going to be spiritual in as much as you feel good, you get a buzz, you get a high. But once that wears off, or if somebody touches you a little bit, you turn into the most ferocious lion that is ready to eat it up. One year passed. Individually, of course, we must look and we must see. If we see ourselves from the year before, this year I'm running a little bit more to be in the service of my Lord, be happy. When you see the opportunity is opening for us to run more, to do more, be happy. When you see that you're not really running to serve, you're just running to serve yourself for your own daily personal opportunity. And if you're a murid, don't be too happy. If you see that so many wrong things that you know that you have and you're trying to get rid of, you manage to have some control somewhere and you're holding on to our compass, to our share, leading, be happy. If you see that you're still not getting rid of it, you're getting more arrogant and more stubborn, trying to find more excuses to do it, we must wake up. In that situation, if it's not improving, we must wake up before this past, these last few nights are going to end because we're going to enter that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing us that these are the times of big forgiveness but especially for this ummah it comes with a big sacrifice to stand up for haq that we must be able to uh, sacrifice for the way of haq Because these are the days of Muharram and these are the days of Ashura. So the days of Ashura in the earlier nations, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing his forgiveness more to the earlier nations because of the day of Ashura, Ashura on the 10th of Muharram. But specifically showing our nation, that we follow the Holy Prophet wasalam, and we're following the Ahlul Bayt. We must stand up for Haq. And don't be afraid. Do not fall in love into the world and do not fear the death. This is the biggest thing that is happening in this world right now with this Ummah. Just as Holy Prophet has said, because of Hubub Dunya and the fear of death. It has crept into this nation and because of that, 
and believers they are helping themselves to the sufra tearing it may Allah make us to become stronger in our faith uh, to stand up and to be able to hold on properly to our shaykh inshallah as much as enough may the coming year we are asking Allah for forgiveness always we're asking Allah to make us to become better servants to our shaykh to our prophet and to him inshallah rahman forgive us those who have passed and those who are about to pass those who have passed and those who are about to come forgive our nation ya rabbi make it easy ya rabbi bring the one who is going to save this world soon ya rabbi make us to be with them ya rabbi wa min allah tawfiq al fatiha السلام عليكم داير okay anything anyone wants to say any questions what are you saying what stuff Yes. <sighs> if you keep your connection, your heart starts working and you start making right decisions. You stop being confused. you start following your instinct you start following your heart you make the right decision without forcing without too much effort without studying without arguing it's just coming naturally to you you're going to do that is the meaning of guided that you have a guide nudging you, pushing you forward, pushing you back to the left and to the right. As much as we are like that dead body in the hands of the one who washes the corpse, if we are like that dead body to our share, more benefit, more blessings we're going to get. You get up the world sometimes. The one who's whirling is different. But the one who is being whirled is different. If you still think that you are doing something, you are still doing it with your ego. When you understand you cannot do anything, then whatever that you are doing, it is through Allah's rahmat, it is through the Prophet ﷺ's generosity, through our Shaykh's madad, at that time, the angels are turning you. You are not doing anything. You are just submitting like on that ocean, floating and it's taking you. You are not fighting. This comes through a price of our ego. Because the ego, it is the most rebellious one. The ego, it is more rebellious than shaitan. Uh, than Firaun and Namrut. More rebellious than Abu Jahil and Abu Lahab, our ego. If you are still not suspicious of your ego, and still not training it, still not catching it, it's going to bring you into very big trouble. So, the sacrifice, that we just had the feast of sacrifice, Kurban, to make us to understand Qurban. The Qurban that we had, say on the 9th of Zulhijjah, 
and the Qurban that the Ahlil Bayt they have on the 10th, 9th, 10th of Muharram. For the believer, he must think. May Allah not test us. But may Allah give us the faith that the prophets came to show us to. Fatiha. Anyway, what are you thanking me for? Because Mr. Fendi put it very strong in your heart to do that. Yeah, that's good. More you're putting your ego aside, you're just listening. Easier. That kind of guidance is going to come to you. Why you think the shaykhs get very upset over little things? Because it's showing that your heart is not there. When your heart is not there, if you're not fixing, then in the future it's going to make a lot of damage for you and for everyone. Alhamdulillah. Al Fatiha. This much is enough. Wa min Allahu tafiq al Fatiha. Have a good night. Bring the desserts.